this, but um, anyway, <laughs> we got a special guest tonight, man. Say hello to what up? DJ over there. What up? He said special guest, but ain't ain't nothing special. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a regular dude, man. That's it, bro. I'm just a regular dude. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But you yeah. still, you know, I, I celebrate, you know, people, man, who I always I appreciate, it. who I always respected, man, because. We known each other for like over twenty five years. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, so mm-hmm. it's just good to see old friends, old faces, man. Cause it just you just never know. Word. Just exactly. Whew. Yeah, yeah, man. It's 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 interesting life, man. Interesting life. Like I said, we go back a minute. It's yeah. Like the, the South days, man. Oh, hell yeah, man. The South days, man. Which you 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 made me quit. Almost made me quit football. Shoot, I'm the one who got hurt. <laughs> that, that's why I'm quick. No, nah, the reason not because we was it was it was like um it was like, you know, how how football is. We usually start like in the summer or whatever. So it, right. was, it was hot as hell. And I think you ended up like passing out or something like that. No, I got hit, man. I got hit. No, I, I swear you passed out from the heat. That's what I thought it was. Really? Yeah, that's man, I, got, I always thought it was from heat. Man, I got rammed, man. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy because like um that was like the first one. Word. And then it went on to happen three more times. Gotcha, gotcha. So I'm Happy, I'm blessed to be still standing, man. It's, for sure, for yeah, sure. yeah. I I miss practice at least the next couple of days because of that. I'm like, no, I ain't going to practice. Like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. and I was a quarterback, so I was supposed to be at practice, <laughs> but I was like, no, I'm good. But that's, nah, man, we go back. Man. That's insane, man. Because I really don't remember that. Like, because I remember I just because I was, <laughs> I <do. laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I just remember waking up like in a hospital. Gotcha. And gotcha. they was like. Oh, you have a concussion, you broke your neck and Damn. stuff like that. I didn't yeah. know it was that deep. Oh, hell yeah, it was deep, <laughs> Like bro. I said, I swear. I swear <laughs> you had passed out because it was too hot. That's why I thought you passed out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Got you, got you. Yeah. I learned something new today. Yeah, man, so um, how you been, like, as far as, like, you know, mentally and all that good stuff? Man, for the most part, I've been good. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I have my days, though. Like, I'm a... I talked to my doctor. He told me I was like a, I have like functioning anxiety. Functioning <laughs> like anxiety. Functioning anxiety. Like I can go through life like normal, like uh-huh. like people wouldn't know, but in the inside I'll be freaking out. So I I could like I ain't got it. I ain't I ain't having like an episode right now. But let's just say I was. It'll still be the same. Like I can talk to you like how I'm talking now, uh-huh. but I'll be freaking out in the inside, just like <laughs> ready to escape and just get it over with. But that's been like it's been. It's been bad since like COVID, like mm-hmm. that whole period, because like COVID had people shook, especially in the beginning. Yeah, I'm like dog, like everybody seemed like they was dying, or that was what they was trying to portray to us. It was like, oh yeah, this serious, like <laughs> stay in the house, don't go nowhere. Mm-hmm. We wiping down groceries with like sanitizing cloths, and, yeah. like some crazy shit. So yeah, that had, that had me freaked out for like for like a minute until I finally caught it, and then like. I caught it and I was like, "That's it." Mm. I'm like, "Damn." Yeah. I was freaking out for nothing. Yeah. So yeah. that that kind of that kind of brought it down, but just that period up until me actually catching it was probably like a year after. It was just like I was having like some crazy attacks, but for the most part, I've been good though, man. Oh, that's what's up, man, and and I remember that too because. You know, I work at Covenant and shit. Yeah, exactly. So you like, you, you right there in it. Yeah, you're working at the hospital. You man, right there. So. Man, people was freaking out and stuff like that. But I always have my faith in God because, you know, you can't prevent anything because things is already written. So For sure. I, I wasn't For even sure. tripping. Like, everybody sure. blew things way out of proportion and shit. I, I was just like, okay, this is going to um, blow yeah. over eventually. I was shook. Yeah. Oh, I know. I was shook. I, know. I <laughs> bet. Like, I, don't, I don't want this shit at all. <laughs> Man. Like, keep that away from me. And it, it took me a year to finally get it. And then I caught it at like the worst time. Yeah. Like my girl was pregnant at the time. And mm-hmm. around the time I caught it, mm-hmm. she was about to give birth. And I had just got to the point to where it was like, I had it within a long enough span to where I could actually be at the hospital. Because mm-hmm. if I didn't, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have been able to be in there while she was giving birth. Wow. And that shit would have been terrible. So absolutely, absolutely. I, I caught it at the at the right time. Yeah, but other than that, man, like I said, I I've been good. Like I said, I have my days. Everything is like ups ups and downs or whatever. But 
That's life, man. Oh, absolutely. It's a balance. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's a balance, man. And it's just like with me, like just with this platform, man, I always just, you know, try to give people like my backstory right. so they can know that I'm a real person, that yeah. I'm relatable because it just be a lot of gimmicks out here. Be For like, sure. A lot For of sure actors around yeah, here sure, <laughs> so sure. you know i ain't gonna be no snitch but it be like that because it's just how invincible do you expect for people to be yeah you know we all go through things exactly yeah and actually tomorrow makes the seven year anniversary since my brother been gone got you dang that's deep and um i came a long way it was yeah. like you know jumping over hoops and just trying to just you know, um, have a strategy, have yeah. a survival guide, because it's just when you um, experience, like, lost or whatever. Yeah. You never get over that shit, man. They always say time nah, heals all yeah. wounds and shit. <laughs> it, like I said, it, I, that, that's, that's kind of how I feel, too. Like, I don't mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think it does. Like, I've been I've been blessed enough to where, mm -hmm. like, it, it was, it's been happening, like, recently. But up until recently, I've been blessed enough to where we weren't like really losing people in our family so mm -hmm. i'm like like i'm i'm just like all right like i like i understand like my my thought was like like time kind of heals but yeah. then like kind of going through like what we went through recently like uh i lost two of my cousins in a week damn in a week and they was both sisters damn so to go through that and like i'm just like man like like this really hit home and like you know what I mean? they wasn't just like cousins that was just like oh yeah that's they're my cousins mm -hmm. like yeah like no these was cousins i like grew up with so yeah to see them and they it was it's three sisters so she lost two of her sisters all in a week and to see her go through that man it's just like this is terrible dog so to that that loss and then like my my granddad who passed last year it's just like, damn, I'm starting to lose family and, and starting to kind of like realize what like people go through. So it's, it's been a process, man. You know what I mean? You just gotta, just gotta go through it, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely, man. And you know, you, you just really begin to appreciate things a yeah, lot more exactly, when yeah. that stuff happens. Exactly. And I would say just to any and everybody, like get some counseling, get some help, get some therapy and nothing wrong with that. You know, that's that's not taboo and Ooh. stuff. And we all need each other. We all need exactly. somebody. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. That's, that's how I feel, too. Like, you mm -hmm. you always need somebody in your corner and somebody that you can, like, absolutely talk to and just vent and get that stuff off. Because holding it in, it, it don't help. It don't help. Like I said, you try to talk yourself through it and, and think you're good, but you really need somebody to talk to to let all that stuff out, man. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah so... um. Answer this for me. So, yeah. what's the biggest misconception that everyone has about you? I don't really know, man. I would say, <laughs> I think I feel like, I feel like some people think I'm like an asshole or like like mm -hmm. cocky or like an arrogant person. But mm -hmm. it's like, I'm just like quiet and just like chill and reserved. So, I can, I can kind of see how it can be that way mm -hmm. with me not like interacting with people or feeling like I need to be in a certain circle or be with people and be out and active or whatever but that's just not me like i'm i'll, I'll rather be to myself mm -hmm. and like my core knit people that i'm with and it don't really go too much further outside of that so i like so I, I think that's the biggest one but i'm like i'm like the nicest person in the world i feel like i can be an ass but mm -hmm. that ain't me though like that's not me i'm i'm i feel like i'm the nicest person in the world except like, so i'm always cool calm reserved I'm there for anybody who need me, except I have one exception, and my friends know this. If you go to jail, I'm not the person to call. <laughs> I'm not the person to call. If you go to jail, don't call me. Call somebody else and have them and have them call me, because I'm not picking the phone up. How, how much? How much it costs for for a jail phone call? Whew, man, that's what I'm saying. Don't call me. <laughs> call somebody else and have them call me and, and tell them that hey, I'm in jail. Can you come get me out? Mm. Yada yada yada. Don't don't hit me with that fifteen dollar call though. I'm gonna pass on that. They know that. Yeah. That's the only time I'm not gonna be there for any of my friends. Oh, I agree. Sometimes people gotta learn their lesson, man. For sure, for sure. Oh, they know. They know now. Though. They know. They know not to call me. Call somebody else and have them call me. Them have them take that 
fifteen dollar charge. Don't, don't call me with that. But that's it, man. Like I said, I'm I'm usually just calm, cool, and reserved, man. I just be chilling. Like I said, I I have the functioning anxiety stuff. So when I'm when I'm actually out or whatever, I'm really not there. It's like mm-hmm. my body, I'm present there, but my mind is not there. My mind is somewhere else. So, but man, no, that's probably it. Though. Okay, man, that's dope, man. I'm just it's just really. Listening, soaking it all up right now. Got you. Yeah, everybody. Because I, I don't talk that much to, no, I, to nobody. So I know this is the most I've ever heard you talk. Besides, <laughs> it's probably the most you ever hear me talk. Too. <laughs> this is the most I've ever heard him talk before. I'm, I'm not a big talker like that, man. I think people know that. If I'm talking, people are usually gonna listen because I'm 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 usually only talking when I really have something to say. Because if I ain't got nothing to say, I'm keeping to myself, and that's really it. That's it. Oh yeah, man, and I got a confession to make, man. Yeah, I was so jealous of you with your basketball moves, man. Cause <laughs> for what, <laughs> man? You made the team every damn year, almost. Like I remember. Yeah, in a sense, but I remember. Yeah, he was always some, on this squad. Some, some of that is like politics. It's like talent and politics. It's mm-hmm. like I, the, like the coach or the team or whatever. Like I, I grew, I grew up with them from like middle school to high school. Mm-hmm. I mainly only went to that high school because of the coach and that relationship. So it's like I was gonna make the team. Not to say that I wasn't like a good player either. I was fairly decent, but yeah, I was gonna make the team regardless. Yeah, I remember all of those years and shit. Like yeah, because. I always wanted to try to be an athlete, but then, yeah. you know, some things prevented that. But gotcha, other gotcha. than that, um, you know, you won championships with the teams and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, man, we got one off 2006. That was the last one. Mm-hmm. Ain't going to be no more after that. Because <laughs> they about to merge the school. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, they about to absolutely. merge the school. So yeah. it's like, that's the last one. That's it. Unless they get one this year. But, you know, I don't, I don't know how that's going to go. So we'll see. But. It might be it, man. It's it's kind of crazy to see like how that's about to end. Like, yeah, they about to merge the two high schools, but it only makes sense because it ain't enough kids to really have two separate schools. It it don't make sense. They just need one, so it makes sense. Yeah, and it, and it's just the uh, end of an era, man. Yeah, man. It's it's sad. I'm a I'm gonna try to make like every like every Arthur Hill basketball game this year. Mm-hmm. You know, just to represent, and that's it. It's the end of it, man. It's the end of it. Yeah, because we had some good times, man, up the hill, man. For sure. I, th- I still think about that. and For sure. And I just always tell people, like, don't rush, especially, like, my nieces and stuff. Yeah. I always tell them, like, don't rush your childhood. Like, that was a, That's the thing, bro. That's the thing, though. When you're young, you just like, man, I can't wait to be old. <laughs> I can't wait to get my own crib. Hell yeah. My own car, my the own lives. money. And it's just like. <laughs> You get it, and it's like, damn, I don't want this no more. Like, I want to, like, <laughs> I want to, I want to depend on my mom. Like, <laughs> just let me, let me ride on the back of my parents or something for a minute. But, nah, man, yeah, that's that's probably the biggest thing, though. It's just like, don't rush it, man, because that's that shit was fun, man. Yeah, that easy shit was too. Fun, dog. Very definitely, easy, definitely easy. Now you look back at it and exactly. you just be like, dang, like yep. I gotta. Do this, I gotta do that. Yep. Everybody depends on me now. Exactly. So. Ain't ain't no days off now, man. Yeah. Ain't no days off. It's all on you. That's it. That's it. And, okay, I wanna touch on the topic, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um you said that you know, you you look you do your for your kids and stuff like that. Um yeah. so how did fatherhood impact you? Big man, it was a, a, a I won't say a big change, but like a big change, man. Because uh-huh. it's like I have, I have a son and a, a son and a daughter that I that I produce, basically. Yeah. <laughs> then I have a, um, yeah. Then me, then I have a, a stepdaughter. Um, okay. With me and my girlfriend or whatever. So. Okay. So you got three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ba- basically three. So, mm-hmm. but the the two the two that you know that I brought into the world, man. Just looking looking at them, it's like I made kids, like. You look at them and it's just like, I can't believe I got kids. Cause mm-hmm. in my mind, I've, I I still feel like a kid myself. I don't feel like I've I've grown and like grown up. Like I I still feel like a kid at heart. Yeah. So to see these people that like look like me and depend on me, it's like, damn, like this is crazy. Especially my son. Like I feel like my son is like, like my twin. Mm-hmm. My son is like my absolute best friend. Like. 
absolute best friend. It's crazy. It's crazy to think as like your kid as like your best friend. But he's like my best friend. He's like the most like compassionate and like caring, like loving person that I know. And he only he just turned five. Mm -hmm. Just turned five. Like speaking back on like the whole anxiety thing. Mm -hmm. I was having I was having like a moment. Like I, I I went to the hospital at least like five times that year. Just thinking something was wrong and like mm -hmm. just just kept going and just my, my mind was just playing tricks on me. So like the anxiety kicked in and like I went to the doctor and he like, yeah, I want to start you on these meds. And I'm like, nah, bro, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not taking, no, I'm not taking no medication. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna fight this like the best I can. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I know it's like mainly mental. So if, if I can get the mental part of it straight, I'll be okay. Yeah. So I ended up going to the doctor I'm I'm freaked out because he's like, I want you on this medication. I'm like, dog, I don't want to take no medication, bro. So I go home. I'm freaked out. I'm walking up the stairs. I see my son. First thing he said was like, dad, you okay? I'm like, I don't know why that hit me so hard. Mm -hmm. But for me to just walk in the house, ain't said nothing, not a word. He mm -hmm. was like, dad, you okay? I'm like, bro. I broke down and just like bust out crying like instantly. I'm like, dog, like. Did he feel like something was wrong with me or not? Like, or, or was he just asking me that question just to ask it? I don't know, but I feel like he sensed like something was wrong with me. So that just hit me like super hard. And from that point on, it was like, all right, like this got to get better. This got to get better. Mm -hmm. Like this can't get worse because I got, I got kids and I got people depending on me. Mm -hmm. And if I go backwards, it ain't good. So right. like, I have to keep progressing and, and keep getting better with this whole situation and stuff in life. But Save my life, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Save hey, my life. Hey, hey man, it's, it's crazy because you and I went through something very similar, except I got um, diagnosed with PTSD. Gotcha, gotcha. And my doctor, instead of um, giving me some time off because yeah. this just, just started. Like, yeah, exactly. And you have like mood swings because I was just losing friends. People didn't yeah. want to speak to me no more because they was just like, man, yeah, like, you don't remember cussing us out, you know? What I'm right, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you crazy. all in my face trying to be buddy buddy. You right. said I, I don't remember, like yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it yeah. was just like um, I was just refusing to be medicated because gotcha. yeah. I was cooking. I'm cook. I'm yeah. a cook. So gotcha. got to be why you got to be aware. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it was just one of those things like, dang, I feel like I'm being um, attacked yeah. for having this condition. Exactly. That I didn't ask for. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, us as, no, um, I completely feel that, man. Yeah. Cause just as us as black men, period, man, like people don't really like sympathize with our, no conditions or disorders no. and stuff so we have mm -mm. to definitely handle it ourselves actually, just as as men period it's like mm -hmm. you, you got to be strong from growing up you told like hey like don't cry like be tough you you mm -hmm. hurt yourself or do something like big boys don't cry mm -hmm. like damn bro like so i'm i'm you're conditioned to bottle everything in from when you were like a child so it's just like you're trying to unlearn and unravel all that stuff that you've been told. And like, it's like, it's okay. Like, it's okay to have feelings. It's okay to, you know what I mean? Like display your feelings. Mm -hmm. Like that stuff is okay. And like you said, I, f I feel like, I feel like doctors jump to medication so quick nowadays, dog. It's like, you can tell them one thing and it ain't like, okay, they don't give you like no preventative measure or nothing like that. No. Like, like maybe you should try this and do this different. Right. It's like, no, nah, like take these pills like these should help you. It's like, damn, like <laughs> for what? Exactly. Like, for what? It's like they jump straight to pills. That's definitely how my doctor is. I don't know for everybody else, but my doctor is a pill pusher. He like, bro, like, take these pills. Like, I think they'll help you. Something else come up. Take these pills. I'm like, man, bro, like, you can tell me like exercise, like, <laughs> like no exercise. Like, like no, no exercise. Like yeah. trying to take your mind off of stuff, like drink more water. Like, no, take these pills. They should help. I'm good. Yeah, and that's just really dangerous because those pills, man. 
You don't. You don't we don't know. We, we don't know what we taking. No, we don't. We don't know. <laughs> now, I understand people like, oh well, you take you take an aspirin or whatever. And you don't know what's in that. But I'm like, shit, aspirin been working since it shit seemed like forever. So mm. they don't change that or come up with a new aspirin. Like aspirin been the same. So I'm okay with taking that. But they come up with a new medication every day. You watch TV and they hit you with some shit like, yeah, take this. And then they t- start talking fast, like you might lose an arm, a leg, and an eyeball, and you might have <laughs> like, ra- like diarrhea, like, yeah, like diarrhea and rapid, and rapid, and rapid heart beating, yada yada yada. But take take these pills, brand new, they should work. It's like nigga, no, like <laughs> yeah, and what that's, are you talking about? And that's just the poorest of advertising ever, because it's like they make the commercial all bright and exactly. make it ha- everybody make, happy, exactly. And shit, but exactly. Like, no, misconceptions. No. Exactly, big time. So, like, <laughs> like, I understand some medication helps, you know what I mean, like certain things, but it's like, well, they got a medication for everything. Like, yeah. everything, dog. So, mm-hmm. people got to be careful out here, man. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So. Yeah, so, um, like, besides that, man, like, how do you c- cope with everything? As far as, like, the anxiety stuff or just what? Just um, life period, like whatever you want to discuss. Um, I, don't know. I feel like I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of things, and like I have family and like my girlfriend and stuff that I can depend on and talk to for like anything. It's mm-hmm. so, like if I'm going through something, like I'm I'm still trying to like I said I'm still trying to fight that thing to where like when we, like like I was talking about when we were younger, you you're conditioned to not say this stuff and to keep it in and and to keep working with it so right. that's one of the biggest things i'm i'm trying to fix and like help is like the communication piece mm-hmm. to tell her when something's going on when something's wrong but i'm so used to like kind of dealing with stuff myself and trying to figure it out sometimes it's like i i don't i don't pay attention to like what i'm doing myself and then i i maybe start to to push her off or like Mm-hmm. Or like I'm not being my normal self and I don't recognize it, but she knows it and mm-hmm. she's just like something going on with you. You ain't letting me in. You ain't telling me. And then now she getting frustrated and I'm like, damn, you're right. I I I, I do need to work on that. But like mm-hmm. I said, just having them people in your corner and somebody to talk to, man, is de- definitely the best way to cope with it. Um, used to like used to be like basketball and stuff for me, but as you get older, like like curricular activities and stuff like that yeah just 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 begin to dwindle away and it's like oh like it's just it's just life it's just like work and kids and like Mm -hmm. trying to find that balance between everything else and not not doing like the stuff you used to do when you were like younger or whatever but like i said it's 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 just certain things but it ain't medication though like, oh, facts! I ain't with that, facts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's what's up, man. I'm word, because it's just um like with me, this is my coping mechanism. Yeah, because I wasted a whole lot of my late twenties, man. Yeah, and just when I was able to snap out of my ordeal, I wanted to just take it back and get my life back, and yeah, and just so many people. Rather be victims instead of right. be survivors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. I just think that everybody just has the ability to prevail. They have to f- see it and Absolutely. know it for themselves first. Yeah, for sure, that's where it starts. Yeah, everything typically starts within yourself. If mm-hmm. if you don't see it for yourself or within yourself, you can't expect anybody else to. So that's that's definitely where it starts, man. Yeah, on, that's that's dope, man. Yeah, thanks, man, and and also just it just be like a lot of just like the media and stuff like that. Yeah, I just don't like how they try to you know make us the villain of the story to like a family because yeah, not all of us are deadbeats. Not at know? all. Not at all. Definitely not at all. Like I I I know plenty like fathers that's like in their lives or whatever. Um, <clears throat> my case like um. Just speaking from my, my family background, mm-hmm. um, my dad my dad and my mom, they, like, separated when I was, like, really young. Um, so, but with him with him not being in the house, you know, I, I still got to see my dad, like, on the weekends or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, he was still, like, pretty active. And then I had a stepfather who came in, like, years later and, and got with my mom and mm-hmm. fulfilled that role, too. So I got to, I got to see it 
like I said, I got the, I get to have two dads basically. So okay, with both of them being there and instilling instilling certain stuff in me, man, it was like. I didn't have a choice not to be like a dad, like a deadbeat dad. Like mm-hmm. that, that wasn't gonna be me. Like there's no way, no how, I'm gonna be a deadbeat. I, f- I feel like right now, if, if God forbid, if something was to happen with me and my girl, I'm I'm fighting for custody. Like that's how strongly I feel about my kids. Mm-hmm. I don't want nothing to happen, of course, between me and my girl. Of like, course, I, wanna, I, I know. I want us, of course, I, I want us, you know, what I mean, to keep that family together. Yeah. Whatever, but I'm just saying. That's how strongly I feel about my kids to where I'm I'm I never want to leave my kids. I always want to be with my kids. Mm-hmm. Like every night, like I I want to make sure they're they're like home with me like safely and all that stuff. I don't want I don't want nobody else raising my kids and taking care of my kids. So that's how strongly I feel about it. I'm going to always be there for my kids until like I'm in the dirt, bro. That's it. Ain't no way around it. Man, that was a beautiful story, man. <laughs> for sure, man. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Yeah. For sure, like man, I was I was lucky, man. Like I said, I was lucky, like I said, to have to have two dads and have like parents that like really loved me, and like took care of me and like looked out for me and like made sure I wasn't in no trouble. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I I I knew I wasn't gonna be like a bad kid or nothing like that. It, they weren't gonna let me do it. What no? What no way? So I had no option, man. No option. Yeah, that's 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 good, man. Cause to be honest with you, I had just forgave my father. Yeah. Because um, I would say that he hurt me too much. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. And I was in a position to tell him that you're not going to hurt me again. Yeah. And I got to love you from a distance now because exactly, yeah. um, after you left 25 years ago. Yeah. Because I, you know, how can you not? Call your kids. That's wild to me, bro. Because I used to just think, like, if he was, like, in my life, would my life be different? Would my life... Yeah, exactly, yeah. W- would be, like, just right, yeah, had compelled like, to, yeah, like, yeah, a exactly, different yeah, plateau? Just that, just that, yeah, exactly. You never know. And that, mm-hmm. that what if can be, like, man, like, like what if he was there? Like, what would be different? You know what I mean? Yeah. And, so, and, yeah. and you really just don't hear... Um, just like like boys growing up to be men, yeah, repeating the same cycle like that. Exactly. And exactly. and I always told myself like, um, when it's my turn, yeah, I'm gonna be there every day, every hour, every second. Absolutely. You know, just cause not to prove anything to him. Yeah, exactly. But to prove it to myself. Yeah, and to not you know like to not have them have that same feeling that that you felt. Not being there, like, cause bro, ain't ain't no way. I I don't see how dads cannot be there for your kids, man. Like, I understand like there's certain women out there that might put you through some things, but even still, with that being your kid, you you gotta fight through that, man. Like, you have to fight through that and be. You you made the kid, mm-hmm. so it's your job to raise the kid. Like, it ain't just no no easy like way. Like, oh, peace out. Like, all right. Like, you got it. You you take it from here. Like, no, nah, like. That's not how life should be. Like kids, kids should have like both of their parents in their lives. Whether if it's not like an everyday thing or something like that, they should still have some type of communication or something with you to you know. So you know, like all right, like mm-hmm. I, I know my parent ain't here, but I know they love me. Yeah, but, man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, cause I just want to, uh, you know, just to state that um, it was like a point in time that I was like. I'm wilding out because yeah. I was scared to die alone. I was scared that I was going to die without having a legacy gotcha. behind. But gotcha. but then I just realized, like, um, you got to watch who you have kids with. Yeah, for sure. And that's, a, that's, a, that's a major thing. Because, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a major thing, though. That's Woo! a major thing. Because, like you said, you can, you can have kids by the wrong, the wrong mm-hmm. women. The wrong women. So, it's like... Find, finding that person, you know what I mean, to, to, to know that, that you're going to be okay with and that you can, like, co-parent with. Like I said, everything don't always work out, but you, you should at least be, be you know what I mean, like, grown enough or adult enough to be able to co-parent mm-hmm. and to exist in a kid's life to where they don't feel like, they don't feel left out. Like, they right. feel like they still have both their parents, whether they're still not together or not. 
it's like okay i know i still have both my parents in my corner that can that can help and look out for me so yeah but yeah man uh, it's crazy out here i ain't gonna lie like you said who you having kids by is important definitely important i i feel like the woman i chose to have kids with was like a major blessing yeah she she already had a kid mm -hmm. and i feel like with that experience mm -hmm. definitely made it easier on me because I've, I I hadn't I hadn't grown up with like having to raise somebody or help look out somebody. You know, yeah. what I mean? like I had a within my household. I I had my older brother, so mm -hmm. and that was that was really it. Mm -hmm. I, said, I have a younger brother and a younger sister that my that my dad had outside of my mom. Mm -hmm. But with them not being there, like I said, they were nobody. I had to like look after and like take care of and like right, right. try to feed and do diapers and all that stuff. Yeah, I had never changed the diaper in my life. Mm -hmm. until I had my own kid. Yeah. So with her having that experience and already going through that, it made my whole transition of having kids like a whole lot easier. And I got to see, you know, with her being a mom, I got to see on the outside, mm -hmm. like, dang, like, I, okay, like, I know she's going to, like, be there and ride and take care of the kids. Like, this is somebody I can have kids with. And that's how that happened. That's good, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I did not know you had other siblings. <laughs> Nobody knows that, which is weird, dog. <laughs> that shit is so weird. Like I said, I have an older brother mm -hmm. who's, uh, he's, I think he's about to be 40. And then wow. my younger brother, I think he's almost about to turn 30. And then my sister is kind of like maybe like a year or two under him. So kind of under him. Yeah, like I have other siblings. <laughs> I mean, I would always like see you with James. So it was like. Yeah, that was just my dog. I know. Just <laughs> I, I know a lot of people was just like probably was thinking like y'all probably brothers, huh? Got you. All the like time. A, a, a lot of people got that. But James, James let everybody know he, we was cousins. And yeah. James, I feel like cousins with everybody in the city of Saginaw. Like he, <laughs> he know like everybody. So I, I feel like people knew that. But it's like, man, like I kind of, I kind of feel like I grew up by myself. Like I had an older brother, and I look at it. He, I call it the older brother syndrome, to where mm -hmm. you like, oh, like, like get out of here, little dude. Like I don't want to deal with you and then like that because mm -hmm. we're like six years apart or whatever. Yeah. So. I kind of felt like I was the only child because we didn't have like a super like close connection. Cause like I said, with the six years apart, it was like I'm too young. Like like I'm the I, I'm I'm the little dude. Like get out right. of here, little dude. So it was like I <laughs> I kind of felt like that. But you know what I'm saying? I I, I got family out here, man. I got family. Out here. That's dope, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, cause I just always tell people like family is so important. Cause for sure. Um. Regardless of the relationship, the bond is sacred. Exactly, yeah. And you just have to make sure that, like, um, you make amends or you try to... Um, at least try. Yeah, yeah, because at the end of the day, once it's too late, it's too late. Like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. For And I'll say this. For for certain instances, uh, you, absolutely. You, you should try to make, <coughs> make that amend and, and that bond, but... Sometimes family don't mean nothing, honestly, bro. Like some, yeah. sometimes your family be be more against you or not with you like strangers out here. So it's like to a certain extent, like yeah, like you want to make them amends, but hey, don't 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 let that family title blind you from stuff. Oh yeah. If, if you're yeah. getting treated wrong by your family and you feel like, you know, I mean, they ain't, they ain't in your corner how they should be, don't feel like just because they're your family, like you gotta you gotta ride for them or like or like feel like you missing out on something because they're mm -hmm. your family. Like let that go. Like that's life's too short to to hold on to certain stuff. And if family ain't doing you right, all right, man, peace out. I'm a I'm a I'm a find the love that I need from somebody who's willing to give it to me the correct way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Um, yeah. you know, I I was I mean like as far as like your immediate. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. also, um. You know, you won't gotta be blood to be family. No, at all. You know, I got I got people that you know look out for me, exactly. check on on me. Yep. See if I ate. See if I'm yeah, okay. Exactly. You know, that's yeah. my family too. That's, that's so. family too. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, but for sure. but I just also just you know just speaking from experience. Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I learned a lot. Um. So we, and I'm almost thirty five. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I wake up some days and I still I still don't believe it. Like, 
I sometimes forget how old I am. I ain't gonna lie to you. Me too, bro. And I'll be like, damn, I'm like, I'm 34. Like, this is <laughs> wild, bro. This is wild. I, I still remember just being a, the, the young kid. Mm -hmm. And now, now people calling me big bro and like, unk and shit. I'm like, man, what are you talking about? Dog? Yeah. I feel like I'm y'all. Like, mm -hmm. I know y'all probably look at me different, but I don't, I don't feel like I'm, I'm big homie. Like, no, like, I'm, I'm with y'all. Like, yeah. Chill with the big homie stuff. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't big homie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. I, I mean, it's just, I, I think, um, it's just evolution. For sure, yeah. Cause yeah. sure, we looked the young when we was in high school, and these yeah. kids nowadays, man, look like um, they ain't in elementary school now. Like oh, as yeah. far as like ninth graders, could, exactly. Yeah. So it's all about evolution. Yeah. And I cherish aging, man. I'm I cherish getting older, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Cause yeah. I cause we earn it. Exactly. You know, what I'm saying exactly. So all we can hope is that we just keep getting older, man. That's it. <laughs> That's it. But yeah, um, I ain't gonna take too much of y'all time, man. I just wanted to get the man of the hour, you know, his just do. I ain't nobody. <laughs> I'm just a dude, man. Yeah, so, yeah, so he says, you I'm know. I'm just a dude, man. I, I go to work, I sell shoes from time to time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. the life. I'm a, I'm a full time dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, so if y'all looking for some new kicks, man, hit them up. I might have them. I don't know. I might. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like no guarantees, no guarantees. I don't and I don't do stuff for free. So no, he don't do stuff for free. <laughs> I don't do stuff for free. Stuff yeah. ain't cheap either, dog. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> um, well, make your requests and then yeah, yeah see what he sure. see what for he sure. can come up with for sure. That'll work. That'll but yeah, work. but yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody who tuned in. Thank y'all for your comments. I wasn't ignoring you, but I was just being professional. Oh shit, just comments, so. bro. You gotta you gotta go back and read them, dog. What what they talking about though? Oh, it's true. It's just one. You know, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be more, but... No, that's all good. What, the, what the one comment say, though? Oh, oh the Jesse Rock. Oh, my... PD Mo. Uh, yeah. Bro, yeah, that's the GOAT. I like had that, him on, I had him on too. That's the man right there, dog. Oh, uh, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah. That, musically? Yeah. yeah. Legend. I, I, dabbled, Legend. I, I, I dabbled in the music. I still do a little bit, but he... He was he was the man at 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 his time. Yeah, at this time he was the man. Yeah, he returning. He coming back. You know, cause he gonna be on my tape. So got you. Got so, you. You know what I'm saying? We we um you know what I'm saying doing 25 tracks got and you. stuff. So I gonna have to redo that. Sex is on my mind, bro. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> I need to sample that. You know, yeah, I need to sample that because that's a classic, man. Super classic. Super so classic. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> Jesse Ross, man. Yeah. yeah. I, too bad I ain't never went. I'm a Salina star all got day. Got you, man. I, I, <laughs> I hated Salina with a passion. Man, man we did. With a passion. Man, we south side. Salina, man, dog. we south side, man. Like um, raising Canaan over here. Bro, I hated Salina <laughs> with a passion. It was mainly it was basketball reasons though. Basketball. Huh. Kurt, Kurt and JT. Yeah, yeah. Was Shout our out. Only, like our only competition back then. Yeah, the only competition back then. Steve was their coach, and Steve used to give us the hardest time. <laughs> Steve is cool though now, man. Steve is cool. Yeah, yeah. I still, I still um talk to them guys too. Got you, got yeah. you. I ain't, I ain't heard from them in a minute, dog. Yeah, um, they on the book. Got you. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Look them up. Except, man, I don't. I be on. I I be on there, but I don't. I don't be on there. Like okay. That. Like I like I get on there to like promote shoes or whatever, and like make jokes and laugh and stuff, but. <laughs> That's my thing. I, I think people take stuff too serious. Yeah. <clears throat> like, I get a lot of stuff is serious, but everything's not serious. No. Nah. Like, when I get on there and I'm talking, I'm not, nine times out of ten, I'm joking. Like, ain't stuff that's in, on the internet to me ain't real. Mm -hmm. It ain't real. Like, I get some of it is, but a lot of it, it ain't real, dog. No. Nah. Like, don't, don't, don't take life so serious on the internet. Like, it's for jokes. Right. Turn that shit off. <laughs> like, right. And then, th then the real life starts once the phone is down. Like, like that's real life. But the internet stuff, man. Nah, man, that stuff ain't real, man. Oh, I, I agree. Cause so many people, you know, acting like they don't got bills and oh, got such sure. and such shut off notices, exactly. eviction notices, all types. Exactly. Of stuff. Yeah, they so they on there hiding hiding the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I hide the pain. I feel it. I feel it. Shit, I had to hit the pain a lot, but you know, <laughs> I, I prevailed. So I feel it. You know. I feel it, man. That's it, man. That's it. <laughs>
yeah guys we gonna wrap up thank y'all for tuning in subscribe to the channel on youtube 1804 show chapter two and you got anything else to say Last uh no i ain't got nothing to say i don't want to get in trouble so. <laughs> yeah, yeah i got a lot of stuff to say but i ain't gonna say it because uh you get in trouble saying certain stuff uh, now, oh so. oh yeah absolutely, absolutely. i'll pass I'll cool pass. cool 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 but yeah we out guys thank y'all peace, peace.